let's quickly go through financial instruments disclosures. IFRS 7 actually preceded na una yan sa IFRS 9. But the scope is similar to IFRS 9. So meaning, IFRS 7 applies to all entities, not just to banks and financial institutions, but all entities. And they are um, uh, all that have adopted IFRS 9 also has to adopt IFRS 7 to a certain extent. IFRS 7 provides requirements on disclosures, particularly on financial risk management and capital management policies of the company. And it also requires both quantitative, meaning tables, analysis, sensitivity analysis or scenario analysis, as well as qualitative or discussions on risk information. So we've discussed the three financial statements, balance sheet, income statement, statement of cash flows. May pang-apat, statement of changes in equity. At yung pang-lima, kung itong first four, sampung pahina yan sa, record, sa, no, sa financial statement, the rest of the 200 plus pages are your notes to financial statements. And that's where bulk of IFRS 7 comes in. It requires financial uh, IFRS uh, compliant preparers to disclose financial risk, and capital management governance, policies, and processes. Diyaka makakita ng discussion that the company has a blank-blank uh, policy when it comes to financial risk. It uh, provides the governance structure such as board of directors, subcommittee heads, senior management, blah, 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 blah. Um, it also includes capital management, excuse me, capital management um, requirements. Yung kanina ang pinag-usapan natin, the fair value hierarchy, nandun din niya kay IFR 7. Sabi niya, fair value methodologies and quantitative information about the fair value hierarchy must also be disclosed in the financial statements. So, meron kang table. Makikita mo yung table doon, nakalista. Ito yung fair level 1 assets. Ito yung level 2, ito yung level 3. Pag may level 2, itong information, additional information. Itong level 3, may additional information. Qualitative information on specific risks and its management. So, merong discussion on what are the fi major financial risks the company is exposed to and what are the policies, processes, procedures, controls implemented by the company to manage each of those major financial risk sources. Quantitative information on Credit risk, so makakita ka ng disclosure on maximum exposure. Measurement of credit quality, is it a good good credit? Mediocre credit or bad credit? Quantitative information on liquidity risk, particularly on the maturity profile of financial instruments in the records of the, of the company based on gross cash flows. They want to see Saan yung cash inflows and outflows mo arising from your balance sheet items. And also quantitative information regarding market risk such as maximum, ah, di pala maximum exposure yan. Dapat ano yan, sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity to different types of market risks such as ano, um, what do you call this? Um, variations in foreign exchange rates or in interest rates. So let me change lang yan. Uh, sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity or scenario analysis. Yeah. 